The minister said this at the Maritime Reporters Association of Nigeria's second annual maritime lecture. Oyetola, represented by one of his aides, Ishmael Omipidon, also said efficient and cost-effective maritime transportation system that links global supply chains is the engine that would fuel economic development and prosperity. Part of the uh, key performance uh, indicators assigned by the Honorable Minister in the performance bond is to see how we can reduce the number of these uh, uh, government agencies. And I think work is going on as we speak. And one way to do that effectively is to ensure that um, the community port system and the single window come up soon. Once that happens, it will reduce the human-to-human -human contact. The ministry has taken it upon itself to modernize and uh, transform our ports. President of Marin, Godfrey Beefberry, on his part, said that by breaking down barriers and fostering closer economic ties, the maritime sector can pave the way for opportunities, growth and prosperity. For us in Marin, it, is, it goes beyond just uh, identifying the barriers and the and the challenges of after. What we intend to do is that we're going to package everything that has been said today. And specifically, we are going to write to the various organizations that are mentioned here, and then we are going to get, um, we won't just stop at meeting here, we're going to drive it to see that the required change is made. The theme, dismantling trade barriers and navigating regional trade, was the core discussion by panelists who explored how challenges such as inadequate infrastructure, regulatory bottlenecks and operational inefficiencies can be tackled to leverage opportunities presented by the AFCFTA and position the country to benefit from trade opportunities. We have also improved upon is improving the capacity of both internal stakeholders, customers officers, and that of our stakeholders, trying to bring them up to date, including even the media. Uh, we just organized a training workshop for the media on how to report issues in the maritime sector. But we have also introduced the non-intrusive cargo examination that is applying tools of scanning to reduce the number of time spent examining cargo. The integrity of the supply chain is the most important, so we are calling on traders to embrace compliance to uh, federal government policies where they think those policies are not favoring them. Rather than circumvent it, they should approach customs, they should approach regulatory agencies and use us to reach out and give feedback to the government to see if they can fine tune such policy. The event drew partners, participants and stakeholders who used the platform to brainstorm on solutions, forge collaborations and commit to actionable steps that will dismantle trade barriers and build a robust framework for regional trade. Farish Allah Arise News.